minoxidil and side effects. Let's go. So one of the most common questions I get and that most people have about minoxidil is does it have any side effects? So, of course, like any regular drug, minoxidil has side effects. Just a reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell so you can get all not notifications when I post my videos. So, some time ago, back in December I believe, I would have done a video on minoxidil, three things that every beginner should know. You can check it out here if you haven't seen it as yet. And I talked briefly about the side effects in there. Now I must say that I'm in. I'm not a medical professional, I'm not giving medical advice. For professional medical advice regarding minoxidil, please consult your healthcare provider. Minoxidil, like any other drug, it has side effects with it. Like Viagra, it was originally developed as a blood pressure regulator. Since it affects your blood pressure in your heart, there's going to be some side effects that come along with it. It's commonly used for hair regrowth and uh, in our case we apply it to our face. However, its ability to grow hair and grow facial hair are actually secondary to its original purpose. In my first video, I would have mentioned that Minoxidil shares most of the side effects with aspirin and some of these are very minor. The actual Minoxidil box says, stop use and ask the doctor if chest pain, rapid heartbeat, faintness and dizziness occurs, sudden unexplained weight gain occurs, your hands and feet swell, scalp irritation or redness occurs, unwanted facial hair grows, but we want that. And if you don't see regrowth in four months. Being a blood pressure regulator, it is possible for you to experience some type of chest pain or, or uh, increased heartbeats or heart palpitations when using minoxidil. For me, it happened one time, uh, one night I experienced a really fast heartbeat and then after that I really didn't notice anything like that ever again. The most common side effects that most people experience are going to be dryness of the face because monoxidil is dissolved in alcohol and propylene glycol. Both of those are alcohols and they're going to dry your skin out so the dryness is expected itching at the application site and burning because it, as I said it is an alcohol. Those are the most common side effects that most people experience. If you're taking any type of blood pressure regulator for high blood pressure, it's not suggested that you use minoxidil because if minoxidil lowers your blood pressure and you're taking meds to lower your blood pressure, the combination of the two is not, is going to produce an outcome that you do not want. You're going to get very very low blood pressure and possibly faint. Some people experience very bad cases of contact dermatitis in response to using minoxidil. If that's your case, maybe this isn't for you bud and you just have to consider an alternative. If you experience contact dermatitis with the liquid, you can try out the foam which doesn't have uh, the, the propylene glycol in it and that might be a little easier on your skin if you have uh, hypersensitive skin, overly sensitive skin. So those side effects that I mentioned uh, with the swelling and the chest pain and the, the dizziness. Medications like aspirin uh, and Tylenol, they share some of those very same side effects and they don't occur commonly in most people. However, everyone's different. If you use minoxidil and, and, and any of these things occur, I advise that you stop it quickly and consult your doctor. One thing that did happen with me, one side effect, uh, not a major one, but I did experience a lot of body hair growing um, I'm not naturally a very hairy person. However, I did see my, the hair on my arms, and legs, on my chest. It started to grow more once I started using minoxidil. And it was actually getting pretty thick and I was getting scared. Even on my earlobes, they were starting to grow some extra hair. And I was getting scared that uh, I would become a very werewolf-like hair suit person, but that wasn't the case. Around the time that my shedding started, it was, it's funny that my, the hair on my body actually started to go away, started to thin out and return to normal. So right now I still have more hair than I started with, but it's not as thick, not as dark as it was before. I cut the hair off of my earlobes and since then it's never grown back. So I'm hoping that the hair isn't experiencing a shedding phase and it's just gonna come back thicker as, as terminal hairs. I mean, I could do with the hair on my chest, but I don't really want all that hair on my arms and legs. I don't want to end up looking like Chewy over here, you know? So there we have it. Those are the main monoxidil side effects. As I said, if you if you have any heart problems, that's the, the biggest one that you should be concerned with. If you're taking blood pressure regulators or have heart disease, you should consult with your doctor before beginning monoxidil. 
All the other side effects are secondary. They can be serious. If it is serious, if you experience any of those symptoms that I mentioned and they are serious, I advise that you stop Minoxidil and consider an alternative. Right, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you thought it was helpful. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get right to them. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.